let me just tell you this. The person you see right now is not who I always was. I have been a work in progress for 57 years. I know you can't believe it. <laughs> but I have been changed over the years. I'm going to try to share with you what I've learned in my lifetime. All the difficulties, all the ups and downs, all the mistakes, everything I've learned from it. I'm going to just put it in a condensed package. The most of what I learned was from my father, who had no education at all. My daddy had a third grade education. Smartest man I ever met in my life. I kid you not. If it wasn't for him, I'm not standing here today. So the trip I'm going to take you on is to show you how I got to where I am. Through all the hardships, the failures, I was homeless. I lived in my car for three years, from age 30 to 33. It is here. This is a gold star moment right here. Oh yeah, this is, this is the day I've been waiting on. I'm gonna get recognized for the brilliant cat that I am. And there's no doubt in their mind now who the star student of this school is, cause I done put something on my paper that was unbelievable. Cause nobody had wrote on their paper, I wanna be on TV. I get up in front of the class, she said, what did you write on your paper? This is big, I said, I wanna be on TV. She said, why did you write that on your paper? I said, because that was our assignment for today. <laughs> she said, and what made you think you could write such a thing on your paper? I said, okay, obviously, this is not the proper tone <laughs> to be talking to when you about to give me a gold star. She said, who do you know on TV? I said, nobody. My father looked at me and said, well, what's wrong with that? I said, okay. She was going, well, Slick, he got to be more reasonable like the teacher said. He said, well, Bill, that don't make no sense. If that's what the boy want to be. He said, well, what she want you to put on the paper? I said, I don't know, daddy, like a policeman or a ball player or something. That's what all the rest of the boys put. He said, well, put that on the paper. Take it back up to the dream killing health. <laughs> so he said, now take that paper and put it in your drawer. He said, every night before you go to bed, read your paper. He said, every morning when you get up and go to school, read your paper. I did it. If you turn on your television set, seven days a week. I'm on there somewhere. If it is written, so shall it be. That's the deal. If you don't have what you want in life, just check yourself. Is it written anywhere? Have you wrote it down? Have you claimed it? Have you laid it into faith? Have you willed it into existence? Has it become a law? Did you write it down? If it ain't written down, what you want? Now that teacher that gave me that assignment, just, you know, she passed recently. She was an older woman. I loved her though. Every year, I sent her a flat screen TV. <laughs> a flea is the smallest insect. One of the world's smallest insects. Do you know that a flea has a 36 inch vertical? That's pretty high. The average human being cannot jump 36 inches. 36 inches. That's right here. If you take that insect and you capture it and put it in a jar and put the lid on it, that insect, that, that insect still has a 36 inch vertical. You know what it does? It jumps 36 inches, but it hits its head and gets knocked back down. So, he makes an adjustment. Since I'm getting knocked back down, I'm not gonna jump my full potential. I'm just gonna jump just enough so I don't get knocked back down. So, uh-oh, if you get another flea and capture it, the flea goes into the jar. The flea, again, another flea, has a 36-inch vertical. But because he's in the jar and he's seen what happens when he hits his head and he gets knocked by down, he duplicates what he sees the other flea doing. 
and he jumps just high enough where he don't hit his head. The sad thing about it is when these fleas have babies, these fleas are born with a 36 inch vertical, but because they live in the job with their mama and their daddy, and they got a 36 inch vertical, but they see everybody else jumping just so high, they duplicate it. Becomes generational. It gets passed down. The parent ain't got enough sense to say, hey, I messed up my jump, but you though, you can still go 36. That's why we try to send our kids to college, even if we didn't finish college. We try to get them through school if we never went to school. Every person in here that's a parent wants your child to have a better life than the one you had. You got to. If you don't, there's something wrong with you.